Hey everyone, this is Ryan from Delaware Camaro and Firebird. Today I'm going to talk about why you can't use a TPI chip in a TBI ECM. And for some people that may seem like a strange question, but this is technically in reference to new EPROMs. So we offer Vatsley and a little bit of a tuning service for the tune port injection cars only. We offer a service for TBI cars, but it does cost more. So I'm going to give you a quick breakdown on why. So here we have the 746 ECM, you know, the very common 305 TBI ECM. So we open it up. Your prom would normally go here. And the TBI chip or prom would sit in a little casing that would then go into this socket. And at first glance, this chip does look very similar to one of these. And to the more inexperienced person, someone who's never really handled these before, it's definitely not hard to see why they would think that they're a direct replacement. The obvious difference is the length. So the TPI chips are 28 pin, while the TBI chips are 24 pin. So what that means is you have to use a different size chip for this socket in order for it to work properly. And that doesn't sound like such a big deal. Well, where the problem is, is that these chips hold next to no data. The TBI file itself is very small, while these hold 512 megabytes of data. So, again, what does that mean? Basically, people aren't manufacturing these 24-pin chips anymore, especially not in an electronically erasable form, such as these SSF 512s. So, in order to get these chips... They're old stock. They require a higher voltage to burn, so they can't be done with a USB chip burner. And on top of that, they're not re-erasable. If there's a mistake made, if there's a correction that needs to be made, a replacement needs to be sent out, it requires a new chip every time. So, the alternative is to get an adapter installed in the ECM that will allow you to run these 28-pin chips. And basically, it just runs a jumper wire from the last two pins into the 24th and 12th pin of the... TBI chip socket and it works exactly as it should but the problem with that is it's expensive it does require soldering and you know if you're not comfortable soldering or you don't want to ruin your ECM you know it can be intimidating I don't like to install them in customers ECMs purely because it's an irre irreversible change if a mistake is made or something there's no easy way to go back so I outsource it to someone else who's willing to do it but when it's all said and done, the total runs over $100, where the TBI, or the TPI cars run around $70. So here's this quick, quick explanation for why you can't run these 28-pin chips in a TBI ECM. 